Hi, we're gonna do, I think, I love this Capable so much, but I think that this segment is definitely one of my very favorite segments because we're gonna be talking about the Capable's heart. See, all great dreams are born in our heart. So, inside the Capable, they have a heart. The hearts say believe, to help remind us to believe in our dreams. There's a little pocket on the back of the heart where you can sit down and even with a child as young as three years old, you can begin to dream the biggest dreams you can imagine. Don't be afraid to let your child have completely unrealistic dreams. Just teach them to dream big because actually we're our futures are determined by the size of our dreams. See, many people say or believe that things that happened in our past determine our future, but that's not true. We're really led forward by our dream. When we have a big dream, let's say to be an astronaut, then that tells me as a child what I need to study and why. It tells me that school isn't the destination. It's the way that I'm going to get to where I want to go in accomplishing my dream. So dreams are so important for children because when they dream big, they will risk more. They will expect more out of themselves. You don't want your children just sitting around playing video games and watching TV. You also don't want the world to dream for them. You want them to be as creative and as big as they can possibly be. So this heart is going to help you do that. Now, when you write down their dreams and you put it in their pocket, this is another perfect opportunity. Remember, we were talking about when one of the little boys hit his brother in the head with a block? This is a great opportunity as well. No screaming, no yelling, to be very, very confused. The more we're confused as parents, the less we know, the more our children have to actually think. So whenever your child misbehaves, you should always be very confused about it. You should be confused for two reasons. Number one, it's out of character for them because you see them as the great human being that they are. And number two, because it's inconsistent with what they've told you, how they see themselves and the dreams that they have. So let's say he hit his brother in the head with a block. I pull out the dream. I read his dream and it says, I want to be an astronaut. Then I can ask him, do you know any astronauts that are hitting their brothers in the head with blocks? You can see the child's not going to know any astronauts who are hitting their you know, brother in the head with a block. At that point, you can ask them, do you want to change your dream or do you think you need to modify your behavior? Most children, and I would say that's in the high 90s, will choose to modify their behavior before they want to change their dreams because these dreams become very precious. Now that doesn't mean that as they age, they won't change their dreams. As they age, their dreams will grow with them. So they get to choose whenever they would like to change these dreams. They just usually won't want to change them to justify an inappropriate behavior. So that's how you're going to use their hearts to lead them forward to amazing future that they dream of.